Before we do start this video, I do want to just quickly assess the situation of Mateo Aleman. Mateo Aleman will not be going to Austin Villa no more. He probably looked at the city and he's like, hell no, I'm not going to be in this city. Like, look, look at the weather, look at the buildings, look at the beaches, if there even is any beaches. There is just no way I'm going to be living my life over here. It looks so depressing. He probably also heard what Unai Emery had in his plans for this summer. And he's like, yeah, there's just no way I'm going to be joining this type of work in the summer. But on a serious note, Mateo Aleman is going to be staying at Barcelona. He has made up his mind. As a matter of fact, he changed his mind because everything did seem like he was going to go to Austin Villa for a bigger contract. I have already said, right, that I have no problem with any sporting director going to a different club because they are offering more money. It's different when you're a player because when you're a player, you're just offered so much more money. Like, how much more do you even want? But with sporting directors, I think that the most they actually get per year is like around $800,000. And when they get a contract that goes up to like $2 million, of course, that's going to be a huge upgrade. And, and I understand that these people, these men, all of these sporting directors, directors, they do have a family to take care of. So I never really had any sort of hate towards Mato Laman making a decision like this. I was very happy for him because I feel like I feel like he does deserve it. But like I've said, Mateo Laman will not be joining Austin Villa. If anything, we have only heard the complete reverse, which is very surprising, right? Mateo Laman may, may actually even renew with Barcelona and stay with Barcelona until 2026. Like, are you kidding me? Like, this was such a huge turn of events. It was said, according to Jerry Romero, that Barcelona have offered Mateo Laman a contract renewal. His current contract does end next year in the summer, but a new deal will be proposed to him until 2026. And so this is great news for Barcelona to keep this transfer window expert at the club. We're going to need this man. He's very important. And I remember a few days back, Mato Leman also said to the media and he said, I can tell you one thing. This summer is going to be very, very interesting. TV3 has also reported that Mateo Leman feels the project is incomplete and wants to help the club finish it. So you can get that sense that Mateo Leman has huge unfinished business at this club. He knows that he can cause a lot of damage. He knows what players he can pull from other clubs and bring them to Barcelona. Hopefully Kimmich. We will be talking about him in just a few seconds. And so now that Mateo Leman is going to be staying, one man that will leave for sure will be Jordi Cruyff. And the man that will be replacing Jordi Cruyff will be Deco. So Deco and Mateo Leman are going to be working together to make sure that every transfer does happen and whatever target they are aiming for and whatever Xavi Hernandez is asking for, they want to make sure that they get it done. And so we are in good hands. Keep in mind that Mateo Leman is a financial fair play rule expert also. So there is just no way Barcelona can get into any financial trouble. We have two men, Deco and Mateo Leman, that know what they're doing. So I'm happy to see news like this. What an amazing day. So now let's move on towards the big news. And I know that this is this is going to get very exciting and I want to p basically assess all of this, right? I do want to give my overall view of this whole potential transfer. So let's talk about Kimmich going to Barcelona. Now when I first saw this, I was going to make a video like 10 hours ago, but I wanted to see if anyone was going to debunk this rumor. Like, let's say, what if Kimmich himself said, this is not true, I'm committed to staying at Bayern for the next five, seven, eight years. And we hear, like, also the coach saying that, yes, Kimmich is going to be re renewing with us. Like, I was waiting for something like that, but it never ended up happening. Because at first, I was in denial in some way because it was just too good to be true. Like, are you kidding me? For Barcelona to be interested in Kimmich, I can see why this could happen. It says here, according to Fernando Martinez, that Barcelona is very interested in Kimmich, who is thinking about leaving Bayern Munich. Xavi's a fan of him and the club knows they have to convince the player as soon as possible. So let, let me break this down into a few parts. Let me tell you why exactly why I would believe that Kimmich is a huge fan of Barcelona and why he would choose Barcelona over any other club. Back in 2019, Kimmich told Bild, and I quote, my role model has always been Barcelona's Xavi. Not the greatest, but he played with vision and took care of all of the passes and had technique. I got to know him at Doha and I must admit that it was a great experience. We fast forward a few months after that and Xavi has also said that he recommended Barcelona to Kimmich and he believed that Kimmich would be a perfect fit for Barcelona. And then we fast forward about two or three years later, back in September in 2022, Kimmich also showed that he was very impressed by the way Barcelona approached Bayern when they lost 2-0. And he even talked to the players and he was saying like, you guys played amazing. I know that you guys have lost, but you guys were much more competitive than you guys ever were before. And you guys actually had an identity. So Kimmich was very impressed. So the love between Barcelona and Kimmich has always been there. 
either. Xavi likes the player, the player likes how Barcelona plays, and Barcelona would be a perfect fit for Kimmich. Now let's talk about the relationship between Kimmich and Bayern Munich. Because look, Bayern have been going through so many changes as of late. They went through Flick, they went through Nagelsmann, they went through Thomas Tuchel, and now with Lewandowski being out, Kimmich has lost his target man in the attack. And so with all of these constant changes, maybe it could be too much for Kimmich. Maybe Kimmich is looking to go to a club where there is more, I would say, steadiness. Like for example, look at how Klopp has been with Liverpool for a lot of years. Look at how Pep Guardiola has been with Manchester City for a lot of years. And look at how Xavi Hernandez will be with Barcelona for many years. Kimmich is probably looking for a club like that. He does not want to be at a club where they are changing managers every two years or every one and a half years. And so look, Kimmich has been with Bayern since 2015. By the time we do head towards this summer, he would basically complete his eighth year at Bayern Munich. And maybe Kimmich is also looking for a different journey. At the age of 28 years old, maybe he's starting to realize that he does not have that much time left. Maybe he has about five to six more good years of good football. And a lot of this is reminding me about the situation of Lewandowski because Lewandowski was like, okay, I have been at Bayern since 2014 or 2013. I'm 31 years old, 30 years old. I'm not getting any younger. Maybe I should go look for another journey and experience football somewhere else. And you know, I I, I would assume that Lev it paid off for Lewandowski, right? You see Lewandowski like dancing, like you never saw him before at Bayern Munich. He was just dancing at the bus when they won La Liga. He was bringing back that TikTok Lewandowski, just having the time of his life. You never saw that type of energy from Lewandowski at Bayern Munich. So he just looks so much happier. But going back to the conversation, I can see this move happening. It makes sense for Barcelona. It makes sense for Kimmich. Like if anything, Kimmich is probably looking at Lewandowski as a reference. So those are going to be the reasons why I could see why this move could happen. But now let me move towards the other side of this conversation on why I believe this won't happen. Even though I want this to happen, but let me tell you why I just I just really don't see Kimmich coming in in this summer. Kimmich has a contract with Bayern until 2025. He signed a renewal back in 2021 and his current market value is 80 million euros. 80 million euros, which is a lot of money, right? So let me repeat, 80 million. And seeing that Barcelona have a summer where they want to bring in about four to five new players that is going to be costing a lot of money, I just don't see Barcelona saying, yes, we can fit in Kimmich in our wage bill and we do have enough funds for Kimmich and spend 80 million euros. I just don't see Barcelona saying that because they're going to need to bring in so many other investors. They're going to need to sell so many assets. They're going to need to start an OnlyFans. They're going to need to sell Rafinha, sell Ferran Torres, sell Ansu Fati. They're going to need to do so many things. Like you guys understand, right? It's just, it's, it's too much. Now, let me clarify. This is just my opinion. I'm not someone that works in Barcelona. I do not know what Barcelona can afford or cannot, cannot afford. Who knows? Maybe Mateo Leman, knowing that he's going to be here for another three to four years now, saying how we're going to see a lot of interesting things in the summer. Maybe Mateo Leman might say, I'm going to show Bayern that we can give Ansu Fati to them plus another 10 to 15 million euros in order for us to have Kimmich. Like what if they made up something like that? I have no idea. This is just an example. But what I can tell you guys for sure is that Bayern will not give Barcelona an easy time. Like look at how petty Bayern were last summer when they were trying to negotiate a deal for Lewandowski. Barcelona offered Bayern Munich 43 million euros and Bayern was like, no, we want 44. And then once Barcelona said, okay, we'll give you 44 million euros. Bayern said, as a matter of fact, give us 45 million euros and maybe just add another 5 million euros in variables and stuff like that. Like Bayern was just a huge headache. I don't know if you guys remember that time frame, but it was very stressful. Fabrizio Romano has also stated that Bayern considers Kimmich as an untouchable. They don't want to negotiate with any club for him. At least this is the position as of right now. Now, that, that is where things get very interesting, right? Because everything right now is as of right now. Like Messi does not want to say anything as of right now because he is currently working with PSG. Zubimendi has said that he's committed to Real Sociedad as of right now because they're in the middle of the season. Inigo Martinez has signed with Barcelona, but Barcelona will not be announcing Inigo Martinez as of right now because I thought the club are in the middle of trying to fight for Europa League qualifications and it just makes no sense for Inigo Martinez to be announced by Barcelona. So everything is as of right now. We'll see what happens in the summer. We also have other reports stating that Barcelona is interested in Kimmich alongside Real Madrid. However, he isn't for sale. No price tag set either. They're planning the future with him. So the only way I could see this operation starting is if Kimmich says, I want to go to a different club. Like he tells Bayern and says, I don't want to be here no more. I understand that you guys want to make me untouchable and you guys don't want to sell me, but I want to leave. Do you see how like all of this is very similar to the case of Lewandowski? Like, I don't know if you guys have realized, but it, it almost seems like Bayern Munich is a prison club, very similar to PSG. Like you look at City and Barcelona, they have no problem on letting go any of their players because they stand by one philosophy. They say, okay, look, if a player wants to go, let them leave. Because if you're not going to be 100% committed, if you're thinking about going somewhere else in the middle of our training session, or in the middle of us playing a game, you're just thinking about, man, I, I should not be here. I should be at, 
at a different club, then why waste time? Why waste time for the club and for the player and for everybody else? Just let the player go no matter how good that player is. City and Barcelona stand by that. I'm always going to go back to what Pep Guardiola said a few months ago. He said, if a player does not want to be 100% committed to my club, let them leave because a player's career is so short. And if their careers are so short, why would you want to keep a sad player when you know their time frame is just so small? You want to be happy in every season because you never know when it could end. And so going back to Barcelona, who knows if they can pull something like this off? He is a defensive midfielder, a defensive midfielder that has scored seven goals and provided 11 assists. Those are insane stats. That's a that's, This is a true world-class defensive midfielder. Like, can you imagine a midfield of Kimmich, Frankie, Pedri, and Messi? I've already posted a picture on my community page on YouTube just to show you guys exactly what our 11 could look like with Kimmich, and it would it would just be something phenomenal. Phenomenal. Better than, I would think, having Amrabat, Frankie, Pedri, and Messi in the midfield and creating the box. Which one do I think is more possible? I think that is the one with Amrabat. But which one do I think is better and can definitely deliver a top European experience and level? It would be a midfield like this. Kimmich, Frankie, Pedri, and Messi with our front three being Alejandro Balde, Lewandowski, and Dembele. And let me tell you guys one last thing before I do log off here. The fact that Barcelona has shown interest in Kimmich today makes me very confident for the summer of 2024 if it does not end up happening in this summer because by the time we do head towards the next summer, he would be cheaper and Bayern would be forced to sell. Again, going back to the Lewandowski case, very similar. And by the time we do head towards that summer of 2024, we're going to recall back to this time and say, hey, remember how we shared that relationship and we were very interested in you last summer? Do you want to continue negotiations like this? Do you want to come with us now that we have a chance to make it happen? And so Kimmich will see it as a very easy call to go to Barcelona because they already tried to get together before. And I think that if Barcelona can give Kimmich a five-year contract by next year and make him play from the age of 29 to 34 years old, it would be an amazing time and it would be a great, great signing. He would be in the prime of his career. So that is how I'm going to be ending this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.